Football fans are gearing up for Super Bowl Sunday. Many Americans, though, are looking forward to more than just the game. We are waiting for those commercials, perhaps even more than the football itself. That's because every year companies seem to pull out all the stops to one-up the year before in hopes of hitting advertising gold. Kind of like last year's ad for Snickers. Remember the one with Betty White? <laughs> Mike, what is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. <laughs> so who's going to top that this year? Not going to be easy to top that. But joining us with a preview is Pete Snyder. He's CEO of New Media Strategies. Great to have you with us. Thank you, Erica. This has become so much fun to, you know, sort of handicap the commercials that will be. We're getting a little pre-release. And you see a theme, even, to the 2011 ads. Without a doubt. Fans are now calling this the social bowl because social media is having such an impact on all the ads. Nearly every ad has a Facebook or Twitter component mm -hmm. to it. And even more so, most people under 35 are using one of these, a smartphone or right. an iPad as they watch. And people are watching them ahead of time too, which is bringing in even more of that. Absolutely. You're seeing uh, the video for VW, The Force, four and a half million views on YouTube with only two days. That's crazy. It, the, all the rules have changed. All the rules have changed, including how the ads are made. So we're seeing again this year that Doritos and Pepsi Max have put up this competition to have people at home who normally watch create some ads, win a little money in the process. Let's look at one of those top contenders for Doritos quickly. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. I love Doritos. <laughs> 82 bucks. And it's a memorable one. 82 bucks, and I've been told this is a no-licking zone, so I'm, yes, I'm very, it is very happy about that. Yes, uh, But it, it's interesting, not only $82, but the guy who made that, direct TV door-to-door -door salesman in Utah. So really the power of social media, and, and thank goodness to Pepsi, bringing people, anyone can make an ad. So now. he spends $82, he could end up winning a million. Two, from wow. what I'm hearing. Incredible. So. so that's one of the top contenders. Pepsi, we should point out, is also back this year. They took a break from advertising. Let's take a look at that Pepsi ad. Pepsi Max, huh? All the Pepsi flavor, none of the calories. <sighs> What's up, ladies? Can I get some love? Oh, sweet mother. I'm slightly uncomfortable. Well, that can happen. Uh, but with Pepsi coming back with something like that, is it a good move for, for the company? It's a, it's a brilliant move for them. Not only have they had a month long of conversation about the competition that's mm -hmm. going on, uh, but they'll delight millions on Super Bowl day. So the, the backstory on that one, the guy who made it former physicist, thus the torpedo cooler. Right, I like it. <laughs> Very original. You can also count on celebrities. Of course, we're going to see celebrities in a lot of these ads. And Danica Patrick has made a splash the last few years because, of course, she does ads with GoDaddy.com. The company sponsors her. Uh, she's got some friends in the ad this year. So we're told GoDaddy, and the CEO has been very vocal about this, aims to be the lowest of the low every year. And just like Christmas brings us elves and presents and things like that, GoDaddy every year at the Super Bowl brings bikinis and thongs. Which, so. I, which and here's the latest example. Danica and I are thrilled to announce the new GoDaddy.co girl. She's a hot Hollywood icon, and .co is the hottest new domain. She's smart. She's business savvy. Just watch her register that .co web address. That says smart and business savvy to me. I think they'll, I think they'll win at the lowest of the low yes. yet another year. Well, you know, it's good to be honest uh, coming out of the gate. We saw a little bit um, earlier in the show we showed the video of Justin Bieber and Ozzy Osbourne. But this is a really interesting celebrity pairing which has already generated a ton of buzz. Talk about an odd couple, but uh, Justin Bieber built his career off of teens and Twitter, so very smart for the first time, Best Buy's advertising, puts these two together, maybe we'll get a Glee-esque mashup for them singing, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Eminem's also going to be appearing in an ad for Lipton Iced Tea, seems like an odd pairing. Yeah, Lipton and Chrysler, he's making a uh, two cameos uh, this time around. So yes, I, I never really equate Claymation uh, Eminem with Iced Tea, but who knows. But hey, there's a first time for everything, and it sounds like at the end of the day, spending $3 million on 30 seconds actually gets you uh, 
some pretty good buzz, so it just may be worth the money. A whole lot of conversation out there, and that's really because viewer behavior has changed. We watch with iPads and laptops. Uh, finally, advertisers are getting it. Yeah, and we can keep watching them over and over again, which is what they love. Pete, great to have you with us. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Enjoy Erica. the ads on Sunday. Will do.